The federal judge is allowing the city of Charlotte to drop off from a lawsuit accusing it and CMS of failing to respond to an alleged sexual assault of a former student. Yeah, that former student had said the city was negligent in hiring, supervising, and retaining a CMPD officer as a school resource officer at Myers Park. With the judge's decision today, though, CMS is now the only defendant in this lawsuit. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison shows us why the judge says the student's lawyers didn't have enough evidence to keep the city on the suit. There are distinct charges. The former Myers Park student, also known as Jane Doe in this case, is bringing in her lawsuit. She says that CMS failed to properly investigate her accusations of sexual assault. Well, a judge says there is enough evidence to bring this claim against a jury for them to decide if it's true or not. Her claim against the city of Charlotte is negligent hiring practices. However, Judge Bob Conrad says Jane Doe's lawyers failed to prove that the city of Charlotte or CMPD knew that the Myers Park SRO was possibly mishandling sexual assault reports. The city's argument was they couldn't fix what they didn't know, so they couldn't be negligent in keeping the SRO on the job. And this all comes after a full day of testimony from Jane Doe herself for hours Thursday morning. Doe's lawyers had her detail her alleged sexual assault and CMS's response, or lack thereof. Doe repeatedly said she only spoke to law enforcement from CMBD about the sexual assault allegations, and she reiterated that the SRO at her school did not ask her about what actually happened. She also said her assistant principal didn't give her an opportunity to say what happened either. But CMS's lawyers brought up three specific times that officials from the school tried to get a statement from Jane Doe. They argued that the SRO tried to get a statement from her in the car, that her assistant principal tried to get a statement from her prior to her going to the hospital, and that in an email, her mother declined to have her speak to the school principal. There was also some heated moments between CMS's lawyer and Jane Doe. One moment got so heated that the judge brought all the lawyers back to his chamber. When they came back, they actually had to strike the interaction between CMS's lawyer and Jane Doe from the record. Tomorrow, CMS's lawyers will be bringing up their witnesses. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.